Believe it or not, wallpaper is back as a trend, and there's a lot of great colors and patterns out there that you could incorporate into your space. As a designer, I'm always talking to my clients about how they could use it, and I understand that some people have hesitation about committing to an entire room. Today on the Home Depot's Weekend Projects, we're going to show you some fun ways to incorporate wallpaper into your space. If you think about it, wallpaper is just art that's repeated over and over again, so we're going to treat it that way. We've got three different designs, and we're going to mount them to make three unique pieces of art. I bought all of today's wallpaper online. They have a pretty good selection at the Home Depot stores, but they have an even bigger selection on the web. The nice thing is it's easy to navigate. You can search by style, by color, and by price point. The tricky thing about ordering wallpaper online is you can't tell if a flower on your screen is this big or this big. But they've got this virtual room function on the Home Depot's website where you can see how the scale relates to other objects in the room. Once the wallpaper arrived, I was able to figure out exactly the sizes of the frames I was going to make, and I was able to go to the Home Depot and pick up the lumber and the paint to finish the project. So what we're going to do today is instead of mounting these wallpapers in the traditional method up on your wall, we're going to frame them each in a distinct way that brings out the artistic quality in each. So our first selection is this large-scale medallion print. It's got a really glamorous quality to it, so we're going to frame it in a pretty sophisticated way. It's going to be a multi-layered framing technique that I think is going to bring that glamorous quality out in the print. This next one is really graphic. It picks up on all sorts of London landmarks. I'm just going to put it on a really simple box frame and then paint a hit around the outside so it'll really pop off the wall. And because it's a bit of a landscape motif, I'm actually going to run it horizontally to make the most out of that idea. Finally, we've got a little bit more of a classic botanical print. We're going to hang it in a triptych, so we're actually going to have three frames using different areas of the repeat to create uh, this continuous piece of art. So I've got the piece of hardboard. I want to make sure that I'm centering the pattern on the board. I've given myself a little extra at all four edges so that I'm going to wrap it all the way around because you're going to be able to see the side of the board the way that I'm mounting it. I've located the center of the medallion that I want to feature and I've marked it on the back of the paper. And then I've also marked the center of my board. So what I'm going to do very carefully now is make sure that it lines up and then I'm going to roll the paper back, glue down the center section and then work my way out from there. And on the flip side, to finish off the edges nicely, I'm just going to fold them over and treat the corners just like wrapping a present. I'm going to tape it down while it sets. So this is the box that we built before out of our 1x2 edge and our hardboard backing. Uh, we painted the outside edge of the frame with that champagne metallic we're picking up from our purple wall covering. And then we picked up a really, really light lilac color. It's just a shade lighter than what's used in the wall covering, and it's going to bring a little contrast when it's the backdrop. So we'll just let that set, and we'll move on to the next project. Before I attach the wallpaper to the front of this box frame, I'm going to paint a bright color along the edges for a really graphic pop. Alright, two down, one to go. For our more classic wall covering, I've decided to do a bit more of a traditional framing option. So I bought one of these pre-made uh, panel moldings from the Home Depot. I've already mounted the wallpaper onto a hardboard, and we're just going to glue some panels that I painted with one of the darker colors I pulled out of the wall covering pattern. It'll fit on just like that. Today we came up with three unique looks. Bold and glamorous looks great in a sophisticated living room. Crisp and modern brightens up a front hall. And traditional in a contemporary palette looks great going up a staircase. 
Even if you're not ready to commit to doing a whole room in your house, there's still an entire world of wallpaper for you to explore.